What's up, bullish friends? Hope you guys are all doing well out there today. And perhaps a not so bullish story I want to talk about here. I want to talk a little bit about WorldCoin. Now, if you guys have not heard about WorldCoin, I'll give you a little kind of brief overview of it here. And then I'm going to get into some of the seemingly more sinister parts of this coin and of this network. So let's talk about this. So basically, WorldCoin is looking to establish like a world ID Okay, and you get this app and you connect to the app and you go and you scan your eyeball in this freaking thing called an orb. Let me show you this. So they have these kiosks set up in malls and various locations around the world. They're in, let's see, I think 34, 34 countries right now. They have 120 countries with verified world ID users and they've signed up 2.2 million people so far. But basically, these kiosks, these little orbs are set up, and you go up to it, and there'll be a like a technician there, and or a salesperson, basically. Kind, you know, they kind of sell people on it. I know if you um, go to any of the malls, I've watched some videos where they'll just like yell out to people to come over and test it out. But you go up, you scan your eyeball on this thing, and it puts it verifies you, and it verifies you based on your unique eyeball. Uh, your unique iris scan, and it verifies against your app in your phone. So there's like an app you put on your phone. It uh, transacts with the Ethereum network as well. But you you basically scan that, and then your biometrics are uploaded to their database on blockchain. And we don't really know what happens from there, though they say it's private and it's not accessible to the outside. We don't really know what the ultimate goal here is. But I, so I recently jumped in and I listened to a podcast from the guys over at Bankless. They had Sam Altman. And if, of course, if you guys don't know who Sam Altman is, he is one of the guys behind OpenAI, a super rich billionaire that is pushing for this for this whole thing. Well, here I want to I want to show you what he says about what they're trying to do with WorldCoin. And this is why a lot of people in the crypto community at, at large are pretty negative on this. But listen to this and see what you guys think. Hopefully this audio comes through okay, so let's give it a shot here. Um, can you talk about just like the inception of the idea of WorldCoin, where it came from, uh, and what the aha moment about why we need something like WorldCoin in the, in the future? I, I started thinking initially that it would be quite powerful if you could have the biggest network, like the biggest financial and identity network imaginable. You could have something truly global and sort of had no good ideas about how to do that. Uh, the first version we started talking about this was something like, well, what if we scan the palm of everybody on earth? Um, or what if we did all these other, you know, like what if a lot of complicated ideas about how to verify identity. But the reason I was excited about it is as the world sort of head toward, heads towards powerful AI systems, I thought that if we could do something to eventually redistribute wealth through some sort of global UBI at scale, or maybe even access to these systems, which would be the most important component of wealth someday, and also be able to verify unique humanness uh, with a different lens on how to preserve privacy, that would be more important as sort of AI advanced. So I started thinking about this years ago, um, mostly driven by my work on OpenAI. So if you guys picked up on that, so basically... The goal is a looking for a way to redistribute wealth, okay? Redistribute wealth, number one. Verify unique humanness, number two. And do a UBI, a universal basic income. With all the speculation of what's coming in the near future and the tie-in with government organizations and governments around the world that WorldCoin is looking to do, it's kind of a scary proposition to have someone come out with that much power and say they want to issue UBI and whether your stance is pro or against UBI, you got to look at the scenario like what purpose at this point would UBI serve? Are we all losing jobs in the near future? You know, and, base, and maybe that's where he's going with this based on AI because he is one of the biggest proponents and pushers of AI out into the world. Perhaps he thinks AI is going to take virtually every job under the sun so in order to keep people happy and keep people you know, complacent in life, they're going to need to come up with this UBI, and that's part of what the system would push, okay? So it's 
it kind of has some sinister undertones to it, which is what is giving a lot of the crypto community pause. And of course, I don't speak for everyone in the crypto community, but I know a lot of people who I've spoken to in the crypto community who have talked about WorldCoin and who um, I've discussed it with. Every one of them has said they have no intention to get involved with WorldCoin. They're definitely not scanning their eyeball because they're, you know... The anonymous nature of the internet is actually, in my opinion, not a bad thing. We still need that. And you've seen people be basically get unbanked by the system for having different opinions. You've seen people not have access to credit cards. People lose PayPal. People lose Stripe. You know, pick these different payment systems that people have been kicked out of for having different views. And that can happen at any time. Well, crypto gives us that freedom that we don't have to worry about that. But having someone come in and want to centralize crypto in this way is, in my opinion, seems very negative for the entire crypto community. It's almost sinister. And who knows what the ultimate uh, agenda is behind all this. So I do see this as a huge negative thing. Now, that's obviously it's my opinion. But there are people who are lining up for this. Like if you go and you look through their Twitter uh, on WorldCoin, let me see if I can find, like, here you go, lines full of people who are coming up to these uh, orbs, scanning their eyeball, and basically they're getting paid out uh, in WorldCoin, which is, you can see WorldCoin here, WLD. They're getting paid out in WorldCoin, and I don't know how much they're getting right now. I haven't really dug into all that. But the fact they're getting out paid this WorldCoin to basically scan their biometrics into this database, you know, who knows where all that's going? And that's what is leading people to speculate that there's something more sinister involved in this. Okay, So, you know, ultimately, my stance on it is there's no way I would personally scan my eyeball to put into a system. You know, I think one, I think it's one thing to give out any of your biometrics for like a healthcare source anonymously. And I think it's another thing to give out your biometrics to people who are actively looking to integrate with governments and government organizations. And I think that's where my brain differentiates the two. So seeing this and seeing all these people line up for this is kind of a scary thought. This has a market cap of uh, 243.6 million right now. So not overly huge, but the fact it just launched with these kiosks and everything here recently, it, it's definitely shown some growth. Now, over the last several days, it's been reported that the growth has slowed down. But it's still there, you know, it's still it's still there and they're still pushing this worldwide. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on WorldCoin. Uh, perhaps this is a video where I need to uh, dig deeper into this and do like more of the scripted, you know, walk through and, and talk on this. Maybe I'll do that in the near future because I actually there's probably a lot to dive in underneath the surface on this. And I'll, I will likely do that. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know. Also, let me know your thoughts on WorldCoin. What do you think? Do you think this is like the craziest damn thing you've seen in crypto? Is this something you'd be willing to do? Uh, like, let's say they, they, let's say they started paying out something like um, a thousand dollars a month in UBI. Is this something you would sign up for, or is this something you think that can lead to basically global human enslavement? Let me know your thoughts. You guys, as always, I will see you in the next video.